What's up guys, it's Jim Bob here, back with another Emerging NYC video. Today's video, we are in Manhattan. We're going to be playing as paramedics. We're going to be using the FDNY conditions vehicle, which is over here. This vehicle is used by FDNY lieutenants, captains, and supervisors of the EMS division. They respond to severe EMS calls and also help paramedics with some EMS calls as well. And to also supervise them. So we're going to be responding to calls with this vehicle. We just got our first call, which is for a guy that fell off his scooter near engine 78 and ladder 757's area. So we're going to be responding. Let's see if you heard anything. We're going to treat him up and get him to the hospital. Come on, buddy. Pulls to the right. Pulls to the right. I wasn't pulling to the right, but I guess I can let this slide. But how is everyone do how is everyone doing? I hope you all are having a good day and had a good weekend. Okay, we're arriving on scene, however. I don't see anybody. Oh, there's a guy that's waving this down. Even though we're behind. Okay. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? We got a call that someone fell off the scooter. Did you call? Okay, you fell off the scooter? Okay. Honestly, he doesn't appear to be injured. The only thing that's wrong with him is his disabled shoulder. We're just gonna call an ambulance. However, just in case, we're gonna give, we're gonna put on a back collar cause I don't wanna risk anything. We're gonna call the ambulance. And they're gonna come take this guy to the hospital just to be evaluated because you can never be too careful. It's always best to be safe. I'm sorry. Okay, sir, we're going to take you to the hospital just to get evaluated, okay? You're going to be fine, okay? Okay, so the ambulance is just around the corner. Oh, there they are. Alright, sir, can you lay down on the stretcher if I can? Okay, you guys are ready to go. Okay, guys, so that's our first call. We're going to hang out at the hospital until we get our next call, so stay tuned for that. If you already joined this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Alright guys, so we just arrived at the hospital and we just got our next haul, which is for a man that's pinned underneath a train. So we gotta step it up because he could have serious injuries because that train is a really big object. Guys, close to the right. Honestly, honestly, why did I even crash into that thing like that? Welcome to Manhattan by the NYPD thing distracted me. But we're on scene. I don't know. Guys, do the FDNY lieutenants and supervisors have, like, turnout gear? Let me know in the comments. I guess they do. 
Anyways, let's go down and see what we got. Make sure the power shut off first. Okay, shut off. Okay, looks like the train tried to break, but it derailed. So, there may be injuries on the train. Okay, let's see if we can locate the victim. Okay, he is pinned underneath the, looks like it's going to be the second car of the train. Okay, so we're going to need to get Rescue 1, which ha which is the truck with has the airbags. It's the rescue. We're gonna need to get the rescue here. Because this truck has the airbags. Rescue 9, we do it all. See if we can do this. So he is under this car. Okay. I need to find a way. I'm gonna get a four by four airbag. I'm gonna drag you. See if we can do it. Okay. It was lifting up the. Okay, it's lifting up the train. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna place another airbag. Seriously, how did it fall through the map? Why am all my characters not moving so much? Okay, this is gonna be a little challenging. Even that jack is floating. Okay. Okay, let's see if this can do it. Uh, 
looks like we might have enough room to drag the guy out. Okay, wait. Okay. We might have enough room. We might have enough room to drag him out and get him to safety. Okay, now I'm See if we can like All right. Okay, okay, this is okay, this is good. This looks good. This looks good, honestly. Looks like I might be able to I just if I can, I can go over here and if I what? You know, if we can't get on this side, let's see if we can get on the other side and lift the train up from here. This win. Because when plan A fails, you got you always gotta have plan B. Okay, you know what? I might be able to... Bingo, we did it. We did it. We got him out. Okay, now we just gotta take him to safety. Mm, didn't sustain any injuries, interestingly. And his vitals are all fine. If we're gonna get an ambulance to come and take him to the hospital just for evaluation, because he may have injuries that we can't see. Okay, so the ambulance is right over there. They're gonna take this guy to the hospital. It's gonna. So guys, we're going to end the call right here. The paramedics are here. They're going to take this guy to the hospital. We're going to hang out a little bit and see what we can, what we can do next. Alright guys, we are back at the hospital. We just got our next call, which is for a vehicle extrication, which is down the street involving a bus. So it's a car versus a bus and the Bus is on fire. We're gonna have to get squad 28 because there might be. Yep, we're gonna have to get the, we're gonna have to get the squad because there's a fire and there might be entrapment. Okay, so the bus is on fire. Do we have entrapment? Yep, we got confirmed entrapment. I'm gonna get the squad. Okay, grabbing squad 28. So I don't know why I spawned a uh, old school, but we 
Got no choice, you gotta go. See if I can extricate the victim first before putting out the fire. Just find a oh there we are. Stand back everybody. This guy's bleeding a lot. complete okay gonna give him a neck collar okay it's already too late so looks like we got a DOA time of death is gonna be 1859 hours I know back in the past I have been in trouble putting out this fire, but I'll see if we can put this fire out once and for all. Okay, so it looks like water's not doing the job, apparently. Okay, here's a chemical exchange, so we'll see you. I 
honestly, I just had an idea to use a deck gun, but just see it. Okay, wait. How are you not able to put out this fire? Still not giving up. So apparently, you can't put out this fire. Honestly, that... Honestly, like, I put in a lot of water. Like, that fire should have been out by now, like... Like, that bus is probably, like, the diesel fuel is probably burning from the bus, because... If I put water on it, the fuel would be spreading. Because the water would be spreading the fuel. And... That would cause the fire to get worse. Anyways, we're just gonna say that. We got the fire and we're called over. Alright guys, so we're gonna end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so all do not ever miss new videos like this one. Be sure to comment down below on what you should do next. Share this video with your friends, your family, your also, click either of these two videos on the screen, and I'll see you guys in the next one.